Hey everybody, this is Kevin England. Wanted to shoot a little video of the hive stand that I made. Give you some insights on how it was built. It's one inch PVC. And it's built with common parts that you could buy from a box store. I'll tell you quickly as we take a look at it what the dimensions are for all the parts and pieces and give you some insights on how it's built. First we'll let you take a look at a little bit of detail here. So my recommendation when you build this is that you build this side square first. You build the second side square first and then you lay these on their back and you build the bridge across that creates this cradle. And if you look at this, this is one inch PVC. There is a special piece down here on this corner it's a three-way corner. You don't typically find those. Those are furniture pieces. I bought this equipment or pieces at Lowe's. They sell that piece. I don't know if every Lowe's has it or don't know if every Home Depot has it, but I know you could buy those pieces on the internet. And the rest of them are standard 90 degree bends and tees along with the straight pipe that you can buy at any store. So talking about some of the measurements and some of the insights. So this piece right here has a two inch piece inside and everywhere where they're joined you can see that there's spots where you'll have a two inch shim to connect the corners to the T's. Now when I put this together I made some mistakes so you can see how much of a gap is here that's really supposed to be tight. So for a prototype I learned my lesson on how to do this and if you've never glued PVC pipe together, basically all you do is you wash the pipe down with a primer for the first part and then you glue it and you put it together with a quarter twist. So talking about some of the dimensions, this bar, the uprights are 12 inches and the bar across the top of the side is 12 inches. The bar on the bottom is 19 inches Every one of the shims that are in here are two inches. In here, you can see where they go together. This bar right here is 11 inches. And I thought about the debate 12, 12, why go 11 here, but I really didn't want to make it any wider for the hive stand that I had. You could certainly make this bar 12 inches and not have a problem with that and then you could standardize some dimensions to just 12 and 19 inches for the majority of it and then the one final piece is this upright bar that provides the most support this is a 9 inch piece and everything else is pretty much standard show you a little bit of the detail and it's a little dirty. I actually just went out and pulled it off of the ground and brought it in the house so you can take a look at it. When you look at the uh, the cradle part, I built this so that it would sit down inside the stand and it would carry the weight a little bit better. And some people have asked me whether or not you need to secure this to the ground. You could potentially secure it to the ground just buy a J-hook and put it right down in here and just clamp it down over the one inch piece and that's it not too complicated and the entire bill for this thing was twenty five dollars for all the materials so pretty cheap to make and pretty easy to do in your garage at home so I hope you get a chance and my only request is if you make one of these you send me a picture at kevin at bkcorner.org and I can put those up and show everybody how they're building them. One last thing about it, this one particularly is just white. I built some of these that I painted. The way you would do it is you would wipe it down with the acetone or some sort of paint thinner. This is glue from something that happened and it would take all this lettering off and it would prime it for the point where you would use Krylon cold fusion paint or fusion paint I think that's what it's called it's the paint for plastic 
and you can paint it whatever color you want. So when it's out in the yard, I painted mine for a screen so they look a little nicer than, you know, white PVC pipe sitting out in the yard. And they're also protected a little bit from the weather and the sun because eventually this will degrade. So that's it, the BK Corner Hive Stand. Hope you enjoy it.